Hello children. Today we will revise your first chapter from Snapshots, The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse, written by William Sarong. Now, let's quickly revise the story. The two boys, Aram and Murad, belonged to a Gargolonian tribe of Armenia who had settled in California. They were very poor and they had a but they had a history of pride and scrupulous honesty. The tribe was known to be very, very honest and very, very scrupulous. Now, the poor bo the, they were poor but proud and the two boys, Murad was the elder one, 13 years old. He was a bit crazy. He was considered to be a bit crazy and everybody thought that it ran in the family because one of their uncles was also a bit crazy, Uncle Kusurov. And then there was Aram, 9 years old. He was very innocent. They were cousins. They were very good friends. And they enjoyed their life together. They were poor but they were also very proud and very much aware of their family's history, their tribe's reputation. But children being children, Murad steals a white horse and keep, intends to keep it only for the summer so that they can have fun, enjoy it, ride it together. Both the boys do that and they keep hiding the uh, horse in a deserted shed. But then they meet the owner of the horse and they feel very ashamed rather they feel conscience stricken because the owner though he almost recognizes his horse but cannot believe that the boys who belong to this tribe would steal it so he leaves and then they are stricken by that conscience and they return the horse and then they find that the owner John Byro a farmer was very happy that he was able to find his horse again. Or he thought that his horse had come back. Now you might face short answer questions from this which, which will do more with the interpretation of the theme or the characters of the story. Let's uh, attempt these questions. Had John Byro recognized his horse? Why couldn't he see anything? As I told you, he had definitely recognized his horse. He had even checked his teeth and check the uh, horse's teeth and he was very sure it was his horse but he was also very very doubtful that the boys of the Gargolonian tribe will steal because the tribe had a reputation that though they were very poor yet they wouldn't steal they wouldn't indulge in any dishonest activity so he let it go he couldn't have said anything because the families the tribe's reputation carried itself so far ahead now, what is the underlying theme of the story? See, you can get a theme based question. What is the theme of the story? The theme here is, of course, the innocence of childhood and how they want to enjoy their life, enjoy it for a short while and how they justify it even. Aram finally justifies it that they were not planning to sell the horse. So it was OK to steal it. It was not actually stealing, but it also uh, shows how the theme also, there is one more theme, how the boys realize their mistake and how they were, their self-conscious helped them to do the right thing morally. Now, why did the boys return the horse to its rightful owner? Of course, it's the same interpret, uh, same question put differently. They returned the uh, horse because they were conscience stricken. They were not happy with the reputation with the reputation of the tribe being tarnished they didn't want that scope to arise so the although they enjoyed the horse very much they rode it they had fun with it but yet they thought it better to return the horse to its rightful owner that's how you have to attempt the questions then in the long answer questions the first question is your textual question did the boys return the horse because they were conscience stricken or because they were afraid now here you have to first give the gist of the story. You have to tell them the background, tell, uh, give the background in the answer why the horse was stolen, what happened and why, the, why it was given back. And then you have to write your interpretation that yes, they were more conscience stricken. They were not afraid because they would met John Byro right there and had they been afraid, their strength would have been there. Fear would have been bolstered by the fact that he had recognized his horse. But they were not afraid. They were more conscience stricken. The, the reputation of this uh, tribe was haunting them. From the start only haunting them. They were justifying it. 
but then they realized that there was no way to justify it and the horse had to be returned to its rightful owner before their tribe's reputation which had been built over so long would be tarnished. So that's how you have to attempt the question. First build the background, then give the incidents and then give your interpretation. Now briefly describe how the two boys enjoyed riding the horse. This is a very simple question. You just have to tell how Murad stole the uh, horse. Then he woke up Aram one day. He had been using the horse for some day, some days. But then he woke up Aram right in the morning and they both rode the horse. Aram had a little difficulty but Murad had a way with the animals and probably he knew riding before also. So they had fun with it, with the horse and then they used to every day hide it in a deserted shed. That is how they had fun with it but then they realized their mistake and they returned it to the rightful owner. So whatever the question, the topic of the question is, you have to emphasize that but in a long answer question you have to give the background and the conclusion in a way the whole story has to be retold with the emphasis on the main thing, main topic that is how the two boys enjoyed the riding. This is how you attempt the long answer question.